Hey guys, so here we have it, the Lord of the Rings, the Rings of Power, teaser trailer for Prime Video. It's only about a minute long, so, uh, just like me. Uh, John, you're too much. So, as you can see, I've played zero seconds of it, so let's go back, get a nice black screen. You see this blackness, this void? right here let that be representative of the creativity that's in hollywood now because they can't make anything new they just got to take everything that's already been established and just ruin that so let this blackness not only be a um, moment of reprieve um but let this symbolize the void and just the this complete lack of creativity that Hollywood now has. Can't make anything new. Just, just take established lore and characters and just fuck those up. Add some diversity in there. And then when people criticize, just say they're fucking racist or something. I don't know. Whatever these people feel like doing now. So without further ado, -do, let's get right into this. This is the Lord of the Rings, the Rings of Power teaser trailer. Here we go. Haven't you ever wondered what else is out there? There's wonders in this world beyond our wandering. Man, these game graphics, they're getting more and more realistic every single time. Okay, I saw, uh, where was it? Uh, bringing rocks. I think it's supposed to be Deladriel. Oh, there's our, uh, our princess. Just praying, singing the high heavens. We've got Elrond. She's like, Chule! Um, if that's... She's clearly a dwarf, because that's clearly the woman we saw before. Where's the, um... Where's the beard? Where's the beard? There's a dwarf. There's a dwarf right there. Uh, he's got a fine beard. A very fine beard he's got. Uh, a new legend begins this fall. <laughs> Are you sure? So you've got some... Uh, we got Don Lemon over here. Don Lemon. Um... No, no, no. No. We got Galadriel. I mean, look at it. It looks like a fucking video game, really. Like, down here. Like, you see all this. It looks clearly fake. It, you can clearly tell none of this is actually here. I understand. It's Amazon Prime. It's not going to be some big budget. No, it is big budget, though. That's the thing. It is a big budget uh, project. <laughs> I mean, that's why I said at the end, I'm like, man, these graphics are just getting more and more realistic. It just... We got Galadriel, uh, who isn't a warrior. 
that people can keep saying oh, it's an adaptation it's an adaptation okay well let that's like taking batman and making him a complete fucking pussy what well, it's just an adaptation it's not the real batman what what real batman you know there's not one singular batman but to 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 take one and to make his character completely different because of diversity or whatever or female empowerment like i said that's like taking batman and making him a complete fucking pussy and then saying oh you don't like a, a pussified batman it's just an adaptation you're you're taking characters that are established and fucking with them making galadriel some a uh, fucking go-getter warrior fucking xena like princess warrior it's it, it's not her character making elrond some fucking uh soy boy is is not his character i i said in the video and someone pointed out it was a good way of saying it they're trying to make beta males and alpha females they think that the left has like this warped perception that in order to you know have women at like the same level or or, or or same standard as men that they have to be doing these manly things and no they don't galadriel doesn't need to be wielding a sword to be badass uh, uh elrond doesn't need to be completely pussified looking for them to uh kind of give him and galadriel equal grounds you know he was a warrior but he wasn't and so you just <laughs> and then we have all these new characters being introduced we've got fucking black dwarves despite the fact that like every time they show another dwarf they're white not to mention misty mountains dwarves live inside the mountain they're not getting enough sunlight therefore they're going to be pale people would say oh they're made out of sediment and stuff like that so they're going to be colored and blah 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 um, and yet every time dwarves are, are featured, they're always white. Hmm, imagine that. Even in the fucking cartoon, the, the, the cartoon, the, you know, the movie back in like, what, 70s? That 70s, 80s? Even those. Dwarves are white. Um, elves, same thing. I hear Sam trying to get in. But... You know, skin color, whatever. People are going to say it's a moot point. What's the matter? You don't like colored for people in, 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 in the media? So no. It's fucking with established lore. And people, I, I mean, I just watched a video from uh, Critical Drinker. He said the same thing. People need to remember the areas these places are based on. This is, he's, uh, Tolkien made this like a medieval uh, uh, England, essentially. You know, like England before England and all that, you know, Anglo-Saxon, Whites, Scotland, Ireland, uh, Nordic, Celtic, Mythos and all that, they were white. <laughs> You're not going to find people of color in those, uh, uh, in that mythology because they just weren't there. Nowadays, if you go to Scotland or Ireland, England and all that, yeah, it's very diverse and you know, that's perfectly fine. But in a time period where a man was living in an area that wasn't diverse, that was mainly white, and he's writing these stories based on these very white uh, dominated areas, especially if you're going into the past and taking stuff from mythology, it's going to be white. Stop adding diversity for the sake of diversity. Um, I'm assuming most of these are new characters. At first, from far away, these look like High Mountain Torn. You know, if you remember in World of Warcraft, the High Mountain Torn, they got those very large uh, horns. They look just like that. I thought we got some High Mountain Torn going around here. Raise the Earth, Mother. But, you know... Galadriel being a warrior princess. Uh, freaking Don Lemon. You got black elves. Um, 
I just I'm not feeling Lord of the Rings here. It just this feels more like a movie, uh, a series based off of just like Dungeons and Dragons kind of thing. And that's that I said that to someone on Twitter. It's like if they want to take uh, female elves and make them warriors, do a Dungeons and Dragons movie. You can have all the female warriors you want, but don't take someone like Galadriel and then just slap her with, oh, she's a warrior princess, and then say, oh, it's an adaptation. Like I said, it goes back to, you know, taking someone like uh, Superman or, or Batman and making them complete fucking pussy for no reason, and just say, oh, it's an adaptation. You don't change the character. Um, small hands. The Lord of the Rings, the Rings of Power. Uh, I mean, like I said, the, you know, the places when they're filmed on location look amazing. I mean, it's always great when you get to film on location. But if it's like this, obviously this doesn't exist. I mean, it looks okay. Uh, but then you have shots... where like i said it just doesn't look real at all you know it's just i mean look at her it looks like a fucking video game <laughs> it's like this is they're making uncharted 15 at this point i mean we got a new nathan drake here a female drake natasha drake but she, it just looks like a video game. We've got uh, Link over here going to Koalin Island. <laughs> it's going to be washed up on shore. He's going to have to wake the windfish. Like I said, Don Lemon. Don Lemon. Creatures fighting. A new legend begins. Um... Uh, Same thing. Look at it. It doesn't really look like it's there. Julie! You know, I, I know it's stupid to, to go after something that's... But the fact is, you know, someone in, in the comments already said it's like Tolkien would be rolling over in his grave right now. <laughs> you know? It's not hard to stick to lore and stick to established characters. If you want to fuck with characters and if you want a character to be a certain way, make your own. You know, don't use Lord of the Rings. Create your own fantasy world. You know, create your own fantasy world. Create your own languages for those characters. You can have all the warrior princes, princesses and, and, and uh, beta males and, and, and as much diversity as you want and you won't be pissing off any fans. Simple as that, but they don't do it. They keep taking stuff like Star Trek, Star Wars, Lord of the Rings, Doctor Who, all these things that have been around for so long, taking characters and be like, nope, <laughs> nope. So. And what pisses off people the most is, like I said in the last one, they flat out said that they were, oh yeah, we're gonna stick true to the lore. We're gonna make some characters, but we're gonna, you know, stick them in the lore, and we're gonna be true to the lore. We're gonna keep the characters the way they are. And then they go around and like, nope, sorry, we lied about that. What, you don't like that? You're just a bunch of sexist bigots who don't like females. And that's the cop out every single fucking time. If you don't like what we're doing, you're a fucking racist, misogynistic, homophobe, or some bullshit. Every single time. And at this point, it doesn't mean anything. Because that's what they say every single fucking time. And every single time it bombs. And then they're like, oh, gee, uh, uh, why did it bomb? I don't understand. Well, maybe because you just flat out call the fans fucking stupid, misogynistic homophobes uh, who aren't liking something simply because it has a, a black female in it. 
rather than thinking, oh, well, maybe we are really fucking with the lore here. I mean, it could be that. But what do I know? I'm just a cis white male. Anyways, let me know what you guys think. Um, <laughs> yeah, you guys know the drill. I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys. <laughs>